Hi friends, in this video we are going to talk about different shipping classes for different locations. So let us first understand what exactly is a shipping class in WooCommerce. So basically uh, let's go to the settings tab here on the WooCommerce. So WooCommerce setting tabs and here we can go to the shipping tab. Now basically what exactly does a shipping zone, shipping options and shipping classes mean in WooCommerce? Basically a sh uh, shipping zone is a geographic region where a certain set of shipping methods and rates apply. For example, you can add a new shipping zone here. Uh, so let me just show you an Excel before we go into the WooCommerce. So here is an Excel where we have got five products one two three four five and each of these products have a different shipping rate in the state of goa and different for the entire rest of the india okay so basically we can just mention their goa and rest of india right so let's say for example if i want to sh uh, uh, ship a specific product product one to goa it will cost me 100 rupees Whereas if I want to ship it to any other location apart from Goa, maybe let's say Gujarat or maybe Himachal or any other places, it will cost 200 rupees. So this is the base. Similarly, product 2 will cost 70 rupees in Goa for delivering it in Goa and rest of India it will cost 100. You can have your own uh, different types of shipping classes. For example, uh, you can set a local shipping class which is basically delivering in your own state. And uh, then you can have a, uh, uh, you know, national one, national shipping class. And uh, let's say if you are uh, delivering outside your country, then you can have a global shipping class as well. So this is just one an idea that you can have uh, different uh, types of shipping classes enabled. So let's say people based on their location will be charged a different uh, uh, shipping uh, rate. Okay. Now let's say for example uh, here in Goa product 1 100 rupees is going to be charged and the uh, rest of India it's going to be 200 rupees. So how we can go about doing that? So first of all we'll uh, create a zone and I'll name this as, as uh, Goa for example. What is the uh, shipping uh, region? Uh, so basically I'll just type in Goa. So Goa India is an option which we have limited to specific zip code. So let's say if it's a super hyper local uh, delivery option, you can also limit it to a specific zip code as well. But in this case, we'll not do that. Add the shipping method. So basically, we'll have we'll uh, we have three options: local pickup, free shipping, and flat rate. Free shipping uh, will not charge any amount uh, from the users. Flat rate is a specific amount that will be charged and local pickup is basically somebody will come and pick up from a location, from your location. So uh, basically I will I'll select flat rate here and I'll add a shipping method. Okay, so basically the flat rate has been uh, added in this case. If I want to edit it, I can do that. Whether it's textable or it's not textable, that is something which you can set up here. The method is flat rate uh, cost. I can set a default cost as well here. If you want to, you can do that. Enter a cost excluding text or sum. For example, 10 into quantity. So uh, let's say, for example, if I'm doing the, uh, let's just add this uh, specific uh, cost only 100. So it's 100 per quantity. So 100 into, we can have uh, square brackets and we can have quantity added here. So basically, for every quantity added, it will uh, charge 100 rupees. Okay. This is uh, this is uh, basically something uh, some setting that uh, we we can uh, do it. Okay. So I'll just uh, leave it uh, to zero uh, by default, uh, or uh, let me just add uh, 100 as a default. Okay. When you're putting 100 as a default, it will not be based on the quantity added. So let's say even if I'm adding 10 products, the shipping charge will be only 100 rupees. It will not be per quantity added 100 rupees. So I'm just saving this. Okay. And this is a, one of the uh, shipping methods uh, which has been added here. Okay. Uh, now I can add one more uh, shipping zone. I'll just go back here. I'll add uh, one more shipping zone here. And uh, I can call this uh, zone as uh, rest of India. 
and uh, here I can uh, select India and I'll just select India in this case I'll add a uh, shipping method here flat rate again and uh, we'll just edit the rate here now I can just refer the Excel the rate is 200 rupees so I'll add 200 here click on save changes and uh, these two zones have been added okay now this one will work perfectly when you have uh, when you are charging only one specific uh, flat shipping rate on both these locations so let's say if you don't have a uh, multiple uh, so let me just uh, write this correctly it's a product type one uh, product type two product type three product type four and product type five so basically there are five types of products now now this one okay which we just said will work perfectly when we just have one type of a product now assume that you've got five different types of products and each of them have different uh, shipping charges for a specific location in that case what you'll need to do is you'll need to create shipping classes so first you create your shipping zones okay uh, you can do that afterwards as, as well if you just have one type of product uh, and uh, you have different uh, shipping rates for different locations then you will be selecting uh, creating these zones simply but let's say if you have uh, uh, you know different uh, let's say you have five types of products let's just refer to this excel and each of these products have a different shipping rate in a, a specific uh, place for example in goa it's uh, 100 type 1 and it's uh, 200 in rest of india type 2 is 70 in goa and 100 uh, elsewhere now type 3 70 and 120 in rest of india so basically how do you go about doing that so first of all we we'll just go to shipping class and we will add a new shipping class so basically we will add five types of shipping classes like product type 1 okay uh, i'll add another product type 2 the slug and descriptions are totally optional you can just leave it a blank you need not bother about them. Shipping class 3, product type 3, and uh, product type 4, and last one, product type 5. Okay. I'll just save this. Okay, so we have got our 5 uh, product types added in here. Now we can just go back to the shipping zone. Now we know that there are two locations one is Goa and the rest, uh, and, uh, the rest of India. So I'll just click on edit uh, to Goa and I will edit this flat rate which is there. Now I will, uh, you know, uh, remove this. Okay. And uh, this is a default if it's uh, some other location apart from that. But since uh, in this uh, dummy uh, e-commerce, we will be just selling in India. So we don't have to bother about the default. So let's say the product type 5 since it's Goa, let's refer what's the cost. It's 200 rupees. So product type 5 is 200, uh, 200 rupees, uh, product type 4 it is 80 rupees, product type 4 is 80, product type 1 is 100, basically it's uh, picking up alphabetically so that's why we can see 5 first and 4 and then 1, if we had numbered it uh, properly it would not, that would not be the case. Then 2 and 3, so 3 and 2 basically 70 and 70. Okay. Now you may wonder that 2 and 3 both have uh, the same cost 70-70. Uh, so why not you know have one group instead? So that is uh, one class instead. That is not possible because um, though product type 3 has 70 and one uh, okay in for Goa in rest of the India is 120, it's 120 and rest of the India for product type 2 is 100. So basically these two are different so just to uh, respect that and uh, not to create any confusion we will have to have two separate uh, classes okay uh, no shipping cost uh, no shipping class cost so basically if shipping class is not added you can have this okay per class charge shipping for each shipping class individually uh pre or per order so basically we can either have it charge it for the most expensive uh, shipping class so uh, let's say for example in this case what will happen is uh, if i select the second option 
it will uh, pick up the most expensive uh, shipping class and it will charge based on that if i select the first one uh charge your shipping for each shipping class individually so if somebody has added product type 2 and the product type 5 together it will uh, it will cost 270 so 270 will be the shipping classes i personally recommend you can uh, select the first option itself uh, because that's uh, that keeps uh, things clear because uh, uh you know it's uh, much more effective and if you're like okay no we don't want the user to have uh, a burden of uh, so many shipping charges you can select the second one so the user if he is uh, uh, buying two products uh, which fall under different classes he will be just charged for one of uh, their shipping charges so i'll just uh, select the option number one in this case in your case you can just do whatever suitable option you want to do you want to select I just save on this and uh, this is something which we have added for uh, Goa basically we can just go to all shipping zones again and here we will just uh, edit uh, on the uh, rest of the India and uh, here I just edit this and again we have got our 5 classes uh, which are there so the 5th class is 250 rupees so I will add 250 here 250 and then the 4th one is 120 I will add 120 here the first one is 200 we'll add 200 here the third one is 120 120 here then type 2 is 100 so we'll add 100 here so the third one is 120 yeah third one is 120 so we'll have that added here then we'll use the same default option which we uh, selected in the uh, goa option and uh, i'll just save this thing so this is sorted here now uh, uh now whenever you are adding a product or let me just uh, quickly open all products here you just need to select the class the shipping class there so how do you go about doing this so let's say for example this hoodie is there now i'll just click on edit and uh, we will uh, just go here we will uh, click on the shipping option here and uh, since it's no shipping class you can uh, select any of the shipping classes so let me just select uh, shipping class 5 and i'll update this option now let me just go back and add this uh, product to the cart um, now let's say for example if i'm adding this to the cart and uh, this hoodie is added i can just click on checkout and uh, i'll just uh, add uh, my uh, details It is optional shipping is india i'll just add some random option for the town in mumbai maharashtra four four zero zero one okay i'll do that phone number i'll just add some random phone number okay uh, this is not my number by the way so it's just a random number and uh, and we can just click on place order uh, before that you can see that is uh, like a shipping flat rate of 450 dollars has been uh, has been charged okay let me just see why is this uh, 450 okay location is just of india prototype 5 is selected i think it's adding the both of these Okay, well, payment, payment method has not been added here. So let's just fix this bug. So I'm, I'm getting 450. The expected was since it's India and we are selecting Maharashtra, which is not Goa, it should be like uh, two, 250 and not this. Uh, let me just uh, change this to Goa. And then uh, let's see. Yeah, 200 is coming fine for Goa. For India, for Maharashtra, it's, uh, it's not coming properly. So that is uh, one of the concerns. But for Goa, it's coming perfectly fine. The state is selected Goa and this is 200. As per our class, uh, this should be 200. And uh, let me just uh, just go back to the India setting. This is there. Uh, limit to the specific uh, order. Okay, fine. So I think it is getting confused uh, because Goa falls under India. 
and uh, since I'm selecting India, it is uh, what it is doing is it is adding the shipping charges for Goa as well as and it's merging it with India as well. Okay, so uh, let me do one thing. I'll just edit uh, this option here and uh, let me just select it uh, for the most expensive uh, shipping class and uh, same I'll do for uh, Goa as well. So this is something which you can keep in mind. Let's say if they are over uh, overlapping uh, locations uh, which are there so just uh, to make things uh, clear you can charge for the most expensive uh, shipping class which is there that is only when uh, you have overlapping locations uh, so the uh, ideal approach would be i would select each of the states of india apart from goa and uh, that's one of the best approaches you don't want to confuse the system but here just uh, for the sake of simplicity just to keep this video short we, we will be doing that so again here it's 200 I selected Goa. Let me select some other. Let's say Bihar. Okay, it's again coming as uh, 450. So uh, basically, we will have to select the states individually. So let me just change instead of rest of India. Let's just restrict it to one of the locations of India. Let's say Maharashtra, India. Let's just uh, restrict it to that. And uh, okay, so let me just select. Uh, uh, Maharashtra here and uh, I'll just okay fine okay now we have selected Maharashtra I think we have saved this okay this is coming as 450 let me just debug it I did this thing. Expensive shipping class, this is fine. Okay, fine. I got the error. So it's not because uh, of, uh, uh, you know, Goa is falling in India and all those things. Here we have added a cost of uh, 200 rupees, and that's why this is coming as this. Now let me just change back to India and uh, I think. For all the confusion uh, which is there, and uh, we'll just save it here. And now we are just uh, and we get 250 there, okay? So, though it's Maharashtra, and uh, we'll just select uh, Madhya Pradesh, we are getting 250 there. So, I hope you guys uh, found this uh, video useful. Uh, do subscribe to, to the channel, and uh, you know, if you like this video, and uh, all the very best for all that you're doing.